I'm Doug Apple, and my heart is on fire. Luke 24, 32. 2 Corinthians 2.11 says we are not unaware of the devil's devices. Whenever I read that, I think, oh, yes, we are. Jesus called Satan the father of lies. So if you ever fell for the lies of a man, how quickly will you fall for the schemes of the master deceiver? He's as smooth as a snake. But here's one way to smoke him out. Ask the question, what then? For example, you had a terrible week and you just need some relief. Then someone invites you to a place where the alcohol is flowing. There's your relief. But what then? You get drunk and forget your problems. But what then? Get drunk again and forget again? But what then? See, asking what then pokes holes in Satan's stupid, gassy temptations. They cannot hold up to the what then line of questioning. So you're having problems in your marriage. Meanwhile, this other person really understands you. They get you. They even like you. You'd rather go spend time with them than go home to your unhappy mate. The game is afoot. But what then? So you spend time with them. What then? Are you going to bust up your family, break your vows, squander your friendships, and shipwreck your integrity? And for what? But when God leads you and you follow His ways, the what then question brings fulfilling answers. If you're having marriage problems, maybe you get some marital counseling. What then? Then you learn and grow together and solve some problems. What then? Then you're building a home and family on deeper love and respect. What then? Then you grow old together, fully respected by family and friends, with a deep and lasting family legacy which can be replicated by generations to come. So yes, the devil has his devices, but we do not need to be unaware. And one way to unmask him is to ask this simple question, what then? God bless you today. I'm Doug Apple.